Hi everyone, welcome to another special episode of my YouTube channel, Data Science with Sam. This episode was made based on a small request that I got from my viewers and followers. A lot of time people asked me that, what are the essential soft skills for a data scientist? Because we often ignore the fact that you need to acquire some soft skills on top of your technical skill set to become an efficient data scientist. Like it's not, it's not all the time that you have to be an efficient programmer or you have a, like a huge expertise in data modeling or deriving data from a database would make you a better data scientist. In some cases, you need to make sure that you have some of the essential soft skills that will take you to the next level of your data science journey. So there are six essential soft skills that I'm going to discuss in today's episode. Those six soft skills are communication, curiosity, business acumen, storytelling, team player, and lifelong learning. So these are the six soft skills that you need to acquire if you want to become a data scientist or if you want to pursue your career in this field of study. So let's dive down in the next section to talk a little bit more about these six essential soft skills. So let's talk about the first essential soft skill for a data scientist, which is communication. As Albert Einstein once said that, if you can't explain it to six year old, you don't understand it yourself. So communication is a fundamental thing when it comes to making a communication with your business uh, customer. To being a data scientist, you need to make sure that you will be able to communicate your findings to your business users, which will help making better business decision for your industry or the practices you're performing over there. The next thing is, Curiosity. Uh, there's a saying that you know, curiosity is mother of all innovations. And being a data scientist, you can consider yourself a scientist too, because every day you are trying to find out something new which has not been explored before. So being a data scientist, you need to have that curiosity mindset. You need to consider yourself, or you need to think about that how you can make your business better by uh, extracting some business insights which your business customer never aware of that before. So that's a, so curiosity is also a very fundamental skill set for a business um, for a data scientist as it kind of laid out the foundation or the mindset that a data scientist requires to help their business in a day-to-day -day practices. The next uh, soft skills would be is uh, business acumen. Now. Uh, there are a lot of times you know, people ask me that um, if you want to be a data scientist, then uh, how you can enrich your business knowledge. So to become a data scientist, uh, it's kind of imperative that you need to have a basic understanding of the business that you're going to support. Like for example, if you work in a retail industry, you need to understand uh, basics about the products that your company is trying to launch using your data science uh, hypothesis testing. Also, you need to, if you work in an insurance industry, you need to have a basic understanding of uh, risk assessment practices. So you can help uh, your business customer, whether it's actuaries or pricing or underwriters, by implementing your data science uh, strategy and, and your skill set. Similarly, if you work in a manufacturing area, or like uh, you need to under, uh, have a basic understanding of the products that you're planning to launch or something you're planning to implement through your supply chain pipeline. Um, if you work in a healthcare, then uh, the, uh, the data scientist needs to have some basic understanding of the DNA sequencing or some sort of a biological <clears throat> uh, acumen that data scientist needs to have that will help them to work with the medical professionals and um, derive their business uh, data science strategy or help them out in uh, driving any AI-related work. So, the, so learning a business acumen is very essential for a data scientist. The next soft skill <clears throat> is storytelling. So if you want to be a data scientist, you need to make sure that you're a good storyteller because without a story, nobody will give any importance to your business insight. So to be become a data scientist, you need to make sure that you can harness your data visualization, data analytics skill to put together a storytelling dashboard, which will help your business customer you know, to gain insights and use that insights to make better business decision. So it's all, it's, it's, it's actually all boils down to how efficient storyteller you are. If you can't narrate your story in a layman's term, 
they, you won't be able to convince your business customer or your, you know, your uh, supervisor to make better business decision using your data science research work. So it's, uh, so it's uh, storytelling is also a very uh, essential trait for a data scientist. The next one is a uh, team player. So as a data scientist, um, you have to work with uh, so many different stakeholders. So you gotta be the team player. You, you gotta you know fit into different roles. You gotta be adaptive in a different like uh, fast paced environments. It doesn't matter whether you have to work with the data engineers or you have to work with the subject matter expertise or your business customer. You always have to make sure that you can streamline a good communication channel with your various stakeholders. So if uh, sooner we can be a better team player, it will be better for your data science team or your organization to leverage your skill set to make the business uh, you know, drivers uh, factors better. So that's why um, uh, being a data scientist is essential for, um, for a data scientist to become a good team player, which will help them to not only navigate through obstacles during, in, the, in the organization, also help them to collaborate with other stakeholders and make better uh, judgment in terms of uh, business strategy or any tactical initiatives. A data scientist, as you know that you know, this data science field is well, continuously evolving. And it's going to be ever uh, evolving in the near future as well because there is no end i don't think so, there is no end point of the innovation in the ai and machine learning field so you're going to um, keep uh, learning new things uh, over and over again and it's possible that you know like uh, the like, the journey will never end so being a data scientist you need to have that curious mindset which will be driven by a lifelong journey um, experience like being a data scientist you need to make sure that you will always try to be up to you know get up to speed with the uh, current trend and what's going on in the AI areas. So that learning thing will never stop. So I would definitely encourage you to you know just get on social media, use LinkedIn as your professional platform. Try to get as much as insight um, or you know, news in the AI field from that social platform. Also make sure that you are going to be a continuous contributor to the data science community. Because that's also one of another way to like you know learn something uh, from others and also collaborate with others so you know other data, you know a data scientists could learn something from you so being a uh, like a individual contributor is not the only way you can uh, help the community you also need to collaborate with uh, others and that will help your lifelong you know your main uh, goal of uh, being a lifelong uh, <clears throat> learners so that's that so these are the six essential skill sets uh, soft skills uh, said that you should have as a data scientist. Uh, there are many other uh, skills that you might come up with and you might you know encounter during uh, your data science journey. So one thing you always need to understand that uh, the persever curiosity and perseverance are the main uh, determining factors to become a data scientist. And as I mentioned, the, your learning journey will never end. It will continuously grow, grow. it will amplify more in, in the future. So try to become an efficient data scientist by becoming a, a continuous learner because uh, that's the only way that you can actually thrive in this field of study. So that's all for today. So I hope I was able to give you a, uh, some insights about these six essential soft skills that will help you to become a better data scientist uh, in your journey. So that's all. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop your question in the comment section and also shoot me an email or share your linkedin message i'll be happy to answer your questions related to this particular topic so that's all for now till then goodbye